Hello everyone, this is ARA Productions and welcome to System Test 12. Um, we do have quite a bit of changes in this video. Um, I have added a um, couple new things as well as switched out a couple of things. Um, so let's get into it. So starting off, as you can see, we replaced our Harrington Signal Pole Station with a Firelight BG-10. This is one I got from Safeman4202. It actually works okay. Um, it handles great, it's just resetting it is a bit of a pain in the butt just because the screw doesn't always go into um, the actual um, uh, the hold for it, whatever you want to call it. Um, the system is normal, um, nothing special here, junction box. Um, coming up here, still have the system sensor mass 24M. Uh, replacing the 2151, we have a System Sensor 2400. This is brand new in box, and I got this uh, from Safeman4202. Special thanks to him. Um, he gave me uh, two of these, um, so very special thanks to him. No, they are not for sale. Um, so if you're actually, if you come over to the junction box here, we actually have a lot of wire. Uh, coming out of this now. So um, I haven't added any wire to that, but we now have wire not only coming more wire coming to the panel, we also have wire going behind the board. So if we trail the wire all the way over here, we have two leads. And I know that they're messy, but it leads to two things. First is my new System Sensor Mass 24i and that is a System Sensor 2100D smoke detector. So both of these, to my knowledge, are actually pretty uncommon variants of both of these alarms. Um, I've never come across a 2100D before. The D stands for detection principle. I think that's just the type of protocol that it uses. I'm uh, Correct me if I'm wrong. And the System Sensor Mass 20, well, MA slash SS24I. Um, I'm not sure what the specific um, thing about it is special about it. I couldn't even find the product part um, on the spreadsheet on System Sensor's official app. They do have an app for all their part numbers and stuff like that. Um, however, I couldn't find it. The only uh, other um, thing I can find on the internet about this device that it I, the only thing I could find was that uh, JJ Inc 24 has one except for his uh, says Halon on the front so I am completely unsure about this device but I got it for like 20 bucks seller said the strobe was not working luckily for me everything about this device works perfectly and I think it is actually brand new never been used it literally looks smells and sounds like it's right out of the box so and that is set to slow whoop by the way so what we're going to do is we are going to i'm going to put in my ear protection and then we're going to test each of our devices so let's get to it okay we are ready to go uh real quick note though um when i was installing this i was supposed to uh in the mail get four um, system sensor mass uh, mounting plates uh, just like that that's on this mass. They were all brand new. They came in a four pack. Unfortunately, I think due to a recent um, uh, storm that we had in the country, uh, they're supposed to be here tonight. I, it's I'm filming this at about eight o'clock. It says they could be here as late as nine i doubt it they'll probably be here tomorrow so whenever i get them i will try and get that plate on there and you'll probably see it in the next test so with that being said we're going to come over to our bg10 actually real quick go into the panel real quick and change something now since both of Now, since both of these um, horns are incredibly loud, um, 
and are on continuous tones. I'm setting, they're both set to California code just so that way there's at least an intermittent, pa an intermittent pause um, while they're sounding. So with that said, here we go in three, two, one. They both stopped. Okay. Both of these strobes are relatively bright for non-ADA uh, strobes. So this one I know is 15 Candela. That one looks like it's just about the same brightness. So it might be the same. I am unsure though. All right, looks. And that's just the power sink trouble that my panel likes to get every so often because there's something wrong with it. Don't know, but it's not that big of a deal. So now we are going to do a system reset. And I do have all of these uh, zones labeled out. Um, so you will see this was labeled as Frank's room manual pull station. And you will see each of them labeled out as I go along and test them. So now we are going to test the 2400. So here we go. And as you can see, it says Frank Room Smoke. I think I need to change that to Frank uh, uh, Door Smoke because there is now uh, two smoke detectors in here. So now we're gonna take our blow off and we're just going to steadily aim it at the detector and just give it a couple of puffs just so that way the air can reach the chamber and we don't want it to come out in a mist just because that means that the air is in a liquid form and that can damage the detector's chamber. So we are now going to reset the system. Now we are going to come over to the 2100D. We're going to give it a test and we're gonna conclude the system test. So here we go. That should be enough. Okay, as you can see, it says breaker panel smoke, and that is because the detector is located uh, just about directly above the breaker. So I figured that would not be a bad um, location description for the detector. And the reason I didn't put a 2400 above my bed is only because um, it is a little big and I didn't know how close I was gonna put the um, uh, notification appliance. The detector was installed first. This has been installed for about two days. This just got installed about like 30 minutes ago. So I just decided to go with that just because it is a little more low profile and it looks a little more cleaner, especially considering the fact I had to mount it on a four inch octagon box and I couldn't flush mount it. So. Alrighty, so that is going to conclude the system test for tonight, guys. I hope you really did enjoy this kind of a vintage setup. Let me know what you guys think, and I will see you in the next one.